Hey, gorgeous folks. Hey, gorgeous. <laughs> Can you talk? Hey, gorgeous people. I am like so excited to just like so much gratitude for being able to do what I do every day. Like so much gratitude for the amazing clients that I have. Like they're awesome. They're freaking inspiring. Hey, Catherine. <laughs> They are like the, the people that I have in my life that I work with, like they are the most inspiring, strong, passionate women that I think I've ever encountered. And I just I just got off the phone with um, two of them. And if you if you guys don't know who I am, um, I'm Carly Myers. What I do is I help women who are unhappy at work get their mojo back and make adulting fun. Um, but. So what I'm doing, you know, today with two of my clients, I, I had a call with one, then I had another call, they were back to back, and the same exact thing came up for both of them. And it was so fascinating to hear and to know that all of us, we, we go through things that are very similar, right? We each have two different versions of ourself inside of us. We've got the version who is scared, the version who is afraid, the version who is lacking in confidence, and we've got the version who is open, we've got the version who is expansive, we've got the version who is confident, who is in love with themselves, who knows who they are, right? And it's funny because we're constantly looking for approval outside of ourselves. And what person do we go to when we're looking for approval? We don't go to the person that is authentic, who is open, who is confident. We go to the person who is not confident. We go to the person who is hiding and afraid. And it's super interesting to me that we, as humans, innately, we go to this place of, I'm not good enough. I'm not this enough. I'm not that enough. I am worried. I'm anxious. This, that, and this. We go to that place when we're looking for approval, but in reality, the whole time we're looking for approval, all we want is approval from, from ourselves. We don't even actually care if our dad likes us. We don't care if our boss thinks we did a good job. We don't care this, that, and this. What we actually care about is that we are in love with ourselves. We are waking up every morning feeling like we are actually who we are. A lot of us have these different personalities hiding over each other, right? We've got this vulnerable one here that is almost always the one that we live in. We live in this vulnerable state of vulnerability, this state of lack. We live here. This is just one version of ourselves. It's the fear that we let drive our lives. And then we've got this other version, which is actually us. We've got the other version that's in our heart. And then we've got this person that is also us that's taking the lead. But actually, it should be this. It should be I am the confident person that's taking the lead. I still have the fear because we can never get rid of it. It's just a relationship we have to hold on to. But I am confident. I am the authentic Carly. I am the Carly who works in the studio. I am the Carly who is confident and who loves to dance and who loves to move and who loves to do Facebook Live with you, who is engaged and present in every moment. And then, yeah, there's this fear thing that comes up, this other version of you, other version of me that is saying, hey, watch out. Like, hey, watch money, hello. Hey, this thing, hey, you should be a little more self-conscious about that fat on your stomach, right? There's this, this version of ourselves that is this, and then there's this version of ourselves that is authentic, who loves ourselves, who is confident, who is all of the things that we want to be. Technically, we already are. We constantly say that we want to be this, we want to be that, but technically, we literally are already that, like inside of us. Hey, Jean, um, we are inside of us always that person, but we let fear, the other version of ourselves, override it. And so we get in so comfortable in this other version of ourselves that we have no idea that in us is the actual thing, the actual person who loves to dance, who loves to sing, who loves to dance in the rain, who loves to do personal finance stuff. I don't know what you like to do, all right? But it's, we buried it. 
we've got these two people. And I think what was interesting that came up for my clients tonight is that they have separated their authentic self from their from their self that is lacking in confidence. Hey, Jen. Um, and so these two things, they live in separate spaces in their lives. One version, the version that is fearful, the version that is in lack, the version that is this, that, and this, all of the negative spirals we could go on, it lives in our everyday lives. It lives at work. It lives, you know, at home. It lives here. It lives there. And then the confident self, hey, Melanie, hey, Cody, the confident self, it lives in a secluded box. The box that is the studio if you're an artist, the box that is um, maybe your creative practice, the box that is uh, cooking, the box that is reading, the box that is taking five minutes to freaking shower when you don't need, you know, when you take that five extra minutes, right? We've compartmentalized our authentic self and buried it so that it's so separate, so that at work, so that at home, so that in relationships, we have no freaking, I almost cursed at you guys, almost no idea who we actually are in our day-to-day -day life. So it's so fascinating. These women that I'm working with, they're going through and they're saying, oh shit, I'm like, what if I am Jackal and Hyde? Is that what it is? I totally feel like I'm butchering that. Got to pick up, get better at my literature here. But I've got these two personalities that I can't mesh together. It's like we have to take the atom machine. I don't. Yeah, yeah. We've got to crash these two molecules, these two things together to create this new self again. We have to figure out what our core desired feeling is. We have to go and use that that authentic self, those things that we want, those things that we know that we are desiring, and we have to use that as a compass. We have to stop compartmentalizing ourselves. The self that actually we are, the self that says, I want to do this, I want to travel, I want a healthy relationship, I want to lose weight, I want to be that. That person is already there. I don't know why, you, why we are wanting it, all of us. I don't know why we are constantly saying, I want this, I want that, because guess what? It's here, it's already here. We have just let our fear, our personality that lives in vulnerability, that lives in lack, this guy over here, control our authentic self. And my challenge to you guys is to say, where in your life are you compartmentalizing? Like, are, where have you compartmentalized your authentic self? And how can you integrate it into all the other parts of your life, into the job, into the relationship, into the finances, into whatever? How can you be more authentic? How can you let the person that is inside you that you've suppressed come to the forefront and guide you in the way, in the life that you want to live? So <laughs> that is what I wanted to tell you guys. If this resonates for you, if it resonated for you, I, I really ask that you share it because if it resonates with you, it resonates with a million other people. And it's really important for us to know that these two Things don't have to be that way. We can merge our authentic self with our self that is guiding us in fear. We can listen to it and say, hey, authentic self is driving. Fear is giving us directions. Fear is saying, hey, there's a bump over there. You might get a flat tire. And our authentic self can be like, actually, that's a mirage. You don't need to worry about that. So, hey, Scott. Hey, Lauren. Um, so that's what I wanted to share. I was really inspired by my clients tonight, especially because two back to back, with the same thing going on. And if that means two of us have that going on, how many more? How many more of us have got this conflict going on? So um, I'm here, right? If you feel like you've been compartmentalizing your authentic self, you feel like you don't know who you are anymore and you need to find yourself and what the fuck is this day job and what the F is this and what the F is that? Like, I want to be something more. I want to be a person that I am proud to say is me. Then let's have a conversation. 
like legitimately it's time to talk it's time to step out of that it's time to let your authentic self roll and reign so that you can be proud and you can be confident and you can step into the life that you want to live for yourself so if you're feeling like that if you're feeling any of those things if this resonates for you first of all it's time to share this video and second of all it's time to reach out it's time to have a conversation shoot me a Facebook message Go to apopstudios.com and scroll the whole way down and schedule a time with me because these things can't be separate anymore. They need to collaborate to build the life that we want to live. So ask yourself, am I being my most authentic self in this moment? Is scrolling serving me? Or do I want to get up and do something? Do I want to start the project that's been in my head for 10 years? That's the question. All right. I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. As always, it's such a pleasure to spend any sort of quality time with you for realsies. And I, I can't, I can't express enough gratitude. Like I started off this, this Facebook live expressing gratitude surrounding, you know, my clients, but really, you know, I've got, more than that to be grateful for. I'm so grateful for you, for, for stopping, for stopping the scroll, for watching, for taking the moment to say, hey, maybe I need to work on something. Yeah. For putting yourself first, for sharing this moment energetically with me. There's so many things to be grateful for. Um, but I've got to go. I've got to close out for the night. It's almost 9 o'clock Eastern Standard Time if you're in the same time zone as me. And um, i got to get ready for bed. i got to get out of these clothes and into some comfortable stuff. But I love you guys. I will see you later, alligator. I don't know when I'm going to go live next. I'm going to try to get on a schedule for you guys so that you know when I'm going, fa going live on Facebook so you can spend some quality time with me. Um, so I will keep you into the, in the loop as to when that's going to be. Um, but I look forward to talking to anybody, any, any of you guys, um, to you. I look forward to talking to you about what's going on, where you want to go. Okay.